Hello. Do you guys remember Ariana? She is back with us today and she plays another instrument as well that she wants to share with us today. And it starts with the letter V. So let's listen to what she has to play and then we're going to talk about it. So here she goes. Thank you. So, Ariana, what is this instrument you're sharing with us today? Oh, uh, this is the violin. It is the violin. And, Ariana, how long have you been playing the violin? I have been playing the violin since fifth grade, so five years. Five years. So, she's been working at it a lot. And what is your favorite part of playing the violin? My favorite part of playing the violin is getting to play with the orchestra. Very good. So, she plays at the high school with the orchestra. Can you tell us about the violin? When you played the ukulele for us, it didn't have two pieces either. So you have to tell us about both the pieces. So I'm gonna let you just go ahead and tell about the violin. So this is the body again. Um, these are the F holes, they let the sound cap come out. Um, this is your chin rest. So it goes under your, like your jawbone, but we call it your chin rest. Um, this is the tail piece. And then there's a little button on this side. Your shoulder rest, where your shoulder goes. Um, the fingerboard where your fingers go. This, the violin also has tuning pegs. And then we have strings. So there's the G, the D, the A, and then the E string. Very good. And so what is this other piece? This is the bow. And so the this is the like the stick of the bow. And then it has bow hairs, which are made out of horse tails, horse hair. So they take horse tail hair mm -hmm. and they make it into bows. Yep. That's and sorry, there's the frog, then there's the tip, and then you have the screw at the end which tightens it and loosens it. I don't know if you can. Might be able to see. It's kind of hard to see on the video, isn't it? Sometimes friend. So you can loosen it. And so. does it have to be loose or tight to play it? it? Has to be tight to play it. So you'll see the gap in between the hair and the stick. Very good. So Ariana played Let It Go for us, and she has a couple of other things she's going to play for us, some examples of how the violin can sound and what that is like. So what is the first thing that you're going to play for us here? First thing is the difference in volume. So it's called Boilum Cabbage Down, um, but I'll play in different volumes. So I'll play loud and then soft. So listen and see if you can tell which parts are loud and which parts are soft.
did you hear the differences in how she played? Some went really fast and some she slowed it down. And it was the way that you move your bow, correct? That makes yep. the difference in the speed. Very good. What else do you have to share with us? I also have a song that you will probably know, but it's the difference in rhythm. And so the difference in beats, like the beat of the music. So remember, we've done rhythm sticks before, guys. We take the sticks and we tap, 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 and we go fast or we go slow. So listen and see if you can hear the rhythm of her song. Some more for you. So, um, Ariana, is there anything you'd like to tell the kids about the violin? Um, something that they can look forward to, maybe? Do you know how old they need to be to play the violin? Yes. Um, you can start playing the uh, in. You can start playing the violin <laughs> with the school at fifth grade. At fifth grade, I know we have some friends and their kids who are younger. They play. Are there different sizes of violins for yes. um, younger kids? Yep. My violin. My violin is the biggest violin. But they also come in three quarters size violin, so a little bit smaller, and then a half size violin, which comes even smaller than that. So very good, because it would be really hard for you guys to maybe hold her violin in place since it's a full size violin. Um, I think that was a lot of fun. And you guys can listen again if you want to hear her play. Do you have anything else you'd like to share with us today, or is that all you have? I don't think so. All right. So V is for violin. So I hope that you had fun watching Ariana play her violin today, and we'll talk to you later.